in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create this beautiful full screen navigation. And we're gonna build this with Elementor Pro. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist, and today you're gonna learn how to create this split screen style full screen navigation. So let me show you one more time. So one part goes up, the other part goes down, and then when I close it, it goes all the way up. Now it looks gorgeous on the tablet, and of course it looks gorgeous on the mobile too. Okay, first let's take a look at what we need to complete this project. So I'm using the Astra theme, the free version. So you may as well install it if you want to follow along. And then in terms of plugins, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And if you're serious about web design and you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you'll find a handy link in the description below. Now, the only reason why I recommend Elementor Pro is because I absolutely love it and recommend it all the time. And it gives a little kickback if you purchase through my link. And that, my friend, allows me to keep on creating free content just for you. Okay, next we need to create our menu. So for that, you wanna to go to appearance menus. Now I already have my menu, but if you don't have a menu, just click on create a new menu, then give it a name. Let's call it my menu, click on create menu. And now you can start adding the various pages from your website. So I could just select some pages and add it to the menu. And once you're happy, click on save menu. Now in my case, I already set up my menu. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, next, let's start creating our pop-up. So in WordPress, you want to go to Templates, Pop-ups, and then click on Add New Pop-up. I'm going to give it the following name, Pop-up Split Screen, then click on Create Template. Now, we don't want any of that, so I'm just going to close this. Okay, so you want to click on the plus sign, and we're going to pick this structure with two columns. Now, before we move on, we need to take care of a few things. So you want to select the first column by clicking on the icon. And next you want to go into responsive mode. So the responsive mode icon is at the bottom left corner of the window. And still with the first column selected, you want to go into tablet mode. And now where it says column width, make sure you type 100%. And you want to do the same thing for the second column, 100%. And now if you go into mobile mode, as you will see, it's already preset from the tablet mode. So 100% for column two and 100% for column number one. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go back into desktop mode. And next you wanna click on the settings icon at the bottom left corner of the window. Next, where it says width, you wanna click on VW and give it a width of 100. Then where it says height, select custom, click on VH and type 100. Next for the content position, it should be in the center and the horizontal and vertical position should be in the center also. Now the overlay for this one, I'm just going to switch it off. You may want to use it with your specific design. Close button should be on. And now for the entrance animation, I'm going to select fade in. And for the exit animation, I'm going to select slide out up. Now the animation duration should be zero comma three. And now let's click on the responsive icon and let's go into tablet mode. So by default, it takes the same settings, but I've seen some bugs before. So I'm just going to reset it. So fade in, slide out up, zero comma three. And now for the mobile, it's going to be different because you want to use slide in right and then slide out right. Okay, let me zoom back out and let's go back into desktop mode. And next you wanna click on the style tab. Then for the background tab, you wanna click on classic. And then you may pick any color and I'm just going to drag the opacity slider all the way to the left to make it completely transparent. Next, where it says box shadow, you wanna click on the little icon that sets it back to default, just to remove that ugly shadow. Next, you wanna click on the close button sub tab and I'm going to close the navigator. Okay, so right now, as you can see, this is our close button. And now where it says vertical position, we're going to click on pixels and give it a value of 45. And then where it says horizontal position, once again, let's click on pixels and we're going to give it a value of 95. And then we wanna click on the responsive icon, go into tablet mode. And this time the vertical position is going to be 46 and the horizontal position is going to be 76. Let's do it one more time for the mobile. So for the mobile, the vertical position is going to be 32 pixels and the horizontal is going to be 35 pixels. Now it looks a bit weird at the moment, but don't worry because we're going to take care of this. So let's go back into desktop mode. 
And now for the color, we're going to pick white. And of course now it disappeared from the window because it's white on white, but we're gonna fix this. And for the size, it's going to be 20 pixels. Okay, next we need to select our section by clicking on the six dots. And first of all, in the layout tab where it says content width, I'm going to select full width. Now the height should be set to minimum height. Click on VH and the value should be 95 on the desktop. And the same goes for the tablet mode, but for the mobile it's different. So click on the responsive icon, click on mobile. And this time it's going to be 90 VH. Okay, now let's click back on the responsive icon, go back to desktop mode and the column position should be set to stretch. Now let's zoom back out and let's go to the advanced tab and you want to unlink the value so that it's zero on top and at the bottom for the margin and the same for the padding. So you wanna click on the icon to unlink the values and it's zero all around. And next you wanna click on the custom CSS sub tab and you wanna copy the code from the companion blog post. You find the link in the description below and you wanna paste this code here. And now, I don't know if you saw, but there is kind of an edge all around our section and you'll understand why later. Okay, next you wanna click on the widgets icon and you wanna drag a heading icon in the first column. Okay, it's at the very top here, but we'll fix that in a moment. So I'm just gonna change the text to menu and then I'm going to change the HTML tag to span, the alignment to middle, and then I click on the style tab choose the color that you want to use. Then I'm going to click on the typography edit icon and I'm going to give it a size of 200 pixels on the desktop. Next, where it says weight, I'm going to select 600. Then for the transform, I'm going to select uppercase and where it says letter spacing, I'm going to type 10. Go into tablet mode and this time it's going to be 150 pixels. And then one more time to the mobile mode and this time it's going to be 80 pixels. Okay, next let me click back on the responsive icon, click on desktop and let me zoom back out. Then I want to go to the advanced tab, motion effects, entrance animation, and I'm going to select fading down. And where it says animation delay, I'm going to type 300. Okay, so now is the time to select our first column. So I'm just going to hover over the column and click on the column icon. And where it says vertical align, I'm going to select middle. Then I click on the style tab background and I'm going to select background type classic and then I'm going to pick my preferred color then I click on the advanced tab and I'm going to unlink the margin values by clicking on the link icon so that it's zero all around and then for the padding I'm going to type 40 and it's 40 pixels all around now for the tablet it's going to be the same but it's going to be different for the mobile so I click on the responsive icon I'm going to unlink the padding values then click one more time to relink it and just type 20 and it's going to be 20 pixels all around. Okay, so let me go back into desktop mode. Let me zoom back out. And then I click on the motion effects tab, entrance animation, and I'm going to select slide in up. Then the animation duration should be fast. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, next I'm going to remove the second column. So I'm going to hover over the column icon, right click, hit delete. And then I'm going to duplicate the only column that we have. So I hover over the column icon, right click, hit duplicate. Okay, next make sure you have the second column selected by clicking on the column icon. Then you want to go to style, background, and I'm just going to change the color to my preferred color. Next, click on the advanced tab, motion effects, and where it says entrance animation, this time is going to be sliding down. Okay, next we want to remove this heading in the second column. So I'm going to right click over it and hit delete. Then I'm going to click on the widgets icon and I'm going to type nav menu. Okay, so I'm just going to drag the nav menu in the second column. And in the left panel where it says menu, I'm going to pick my menu. So mine is called main menu, yours may be different. And as you can see, now I have my menu here on the right hand side. We still need to style it. So where it says layouts, select drop down alignment should be set to aside and the toggle button should be set to none next click on the style tab the text color should be set to your preferred color so in my case it's going to be this one now for the background color you can pick any color and drag the slider all the way to the left to make it transparent and then for the typography i'm going to click on the edit icon i'm going to select pop ins now for the size i'm going to type 
25 pixels. The transformation should be set to uppercase. Let me close this. And the vertical padding should be set to 12. So let me zoom back out. And as you can see, it's quite different. Next, go to the advanced tab, motion effects, entrance animation, fade in up, and where it says animation delay, you wanna type 100. Okay, we're almost done for this part, but a few more things we need to take care of. So make sure you select the main section by clicking on the six dots, then go to advanced, and then you wanna click on the responsive icon at the bottom left corner of the window and click on the tablet mode. So still with our section selected, you wanna click on the responsive sub tab, and then where it says reverse columns for tablet and mobile, you wanna switch it on. And as you can see, now the navigation is on top. And if we go into mobile mode, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's zoom back out. And as you can see right now, when I hover over some of the menu items, we have this style with a colored background. You may want something different. So let me select my nav menu, then go to style. And where it says normal, you wanna click on hover. And then you wanna pick the various styles that you want. So in my case, I'm going to select this color for the hover state. I still want to make sure my background is transparent and the same thing for the active state. Okay, so now when I hover over one of the elements, I have this color and if a page is active, it will also show this color. And actually I want to pick a different menu. So I'm going to go back to content and pick a different menu from the drop down. Now in your case, you probably only have one menu and that's fine. Okay, so it looks like we're all set. Let me hit publish. And it's gonna ask you to add a condition. So just click on add condition and by default, it says include on the entire website. Click next. We didn't wanna change anything here. So click next one more time and then click on save and close. Okay, we got a pop-up, but we need to trigger it from a custom header. So let's do that next. So in WordPress, you wanna to go to templates, theme builder. Then you wanna click on header and click on add new. Okay, so we don't wanna use a predefined style. I'm just going to remove this. Then click on the plus sign to create a new section. We want a section with two columns. Okay, before we move on, we need to take care of a few things. So you wanna click on the responsive icon at the bottom left corner of the window. And next you wanna click on the mobile icon. Okay, next make sure you select the first column and where it says column width, you wanna type 70. Okay, next select the second column and once again, where it says column width, this time you want to type 30. Okay, let's go back to desktop mode and make sure you select the main section by clicking on the six dots. And with our section selected on the layout tab where it says content width, you want to select full width. And for the HTML tag, you want to select header. Next, click on style, background, and where it says background type, select classic and give it the color you want. I'm just going to pick white or it could be a very light gray but i'm just going to pick white then click on advanced and you want to unlink the margin values by clicking on the icon and then do the same thing for the padding and this time the values are going to be 10 pixels on top 30 on the right hand side 10 at the bottom and zero on the left hand side next click on the responsive icon and go straight into mobile mode and link the values and this time it's going to be 25 pixels on top 20 on the right hand side 15 at the bottom and zero on the left hand side. Okay, let's zoom back out and let's go back into desktop mode. Now let's select our first section and then where it says vertical align, you wanna select middle, then go to advanced and you want to unlink the padding value so that it's zero all around. Now let's do the same thing for the second column. So make sure you select the second column. Vertical alignment should be set to middle, then go to advanced, unlink the padding value so that it's zero all around. Okay, next you wanna click on the widgets icon and then you can either drag the site logo and put it right here, depending on which theme you're using. You should have set it up in your theme options or you can just use an image, drag it in the first column. So I'm going to select an image from my library. Then the alignment should be set to left. And for the link, I'm going to select custom URL and then I'm going to click on the dynamic tags icon and then I'm going to select site URL. Next, click on the style tab. And for the width, I'm going to click on pix for pixels. And I'm going to type 120 pixels. Now, of course, it's probably going to be totally different for you depending on your logo. Okay, next, click on the widgets icon. And this time I'm going to drag an icon widget. 
So I'm going to drag it to the second column. And in the left panel, I'm going to click on the icon and I'm going to pick a different one. So I'm going to type grip and I'm going to pick this one here, grip lines. Click on insert. And for the link, I'm going to click on the dynamic tags icon. Then I'm going to scroll to where it says pop up. Click on the wrench icon. And where it says all, you want to type the name of your pop up. So mine was called split screen pop up. Okay, let me zoom back out. And where it says alignment, I want to select right. Next, go to the style tab and where it says primary color, you want to pick your preferred color. Then for the size, I'm going to type 30. Okay, now click on publish. It's going to ask you to add a condition. Click on add condition. By default, it says include on the entire website, which is what we want. And click on save and close. And actually, I'm going to change the size of the logo. So let me select my logo once again. Go to the style tab and instead of 120 pixels, it's going to be 250. Hit update. And now if I go back to the front end, so I'm just going to hit refresh. And there you go. We have our logo. We have our hamburger icon. And if I click on it, ta-da, working fine. We can close it. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Looking gorgeous. But I think we could have centered the menu here. So let's go back to our pop-up and I'm going to select my nav menu. And then where it says align, this time I'm going to select center. Hit update. Okay, now let's go back. I'm just going to close this and refresh the page. Okay. And there you go. Looking beautiful. Now let's take a look at the tablet version. Looking great. And now the mobile version. And as you can see, we can kind of see a hint of the logo here on top. So let's go back. Let's go into mobile mode. Let's select our section, then go to the layout tab. And instead of a minimum height of 90 VH, I'm going to use 95 VH. Hit update. Now let's go back and refresh. And there you go looking gorgeous one more time awesome now you may have noticed the beautiful hero section from the home page this hero section features a video background with a nice block structure on top that really makes it stand out it looks gorgeous on the tablet and as you saw previously it looks absolutely gorgeous on the mobile too so if you want to learn how to create this stunning home page hero design section with the video background and the block structure make sure you click on the video appearing on screen right now. Don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.